nak? Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So welcome back. Jadi dalam video kali ini kita akan sambung part yang kedua untuk subtopik 1.1. Di mana kali ini kita teruskan soalan untuk uh, determine the dimension of derived quantity. Alright, so now let's read the question first. So, determine the dimension of gamma by using the equation below. So, kat sini kita ada equation yang diberi and where PI and PF are pressure of the air bubble and R is the radius of the bubble. Alright, so now we want to find what is the dimension of gamma. So, kita jadikan ini sebagai perkara rumus, alright. But before that, uh, let's try to rearrange first. So, this is uh, gamma is equal to. So, we have PI. I think this one should be P final, right? P final minus P initial. Okay, sebab kat sini dia adalah um, PI and PF. Okay, so let's let's uh, write P final, alright? P final minus P initial. Okay, S times R and divide 2. Okay, so in order to determine the dimension of gamma, first you need to look at this one. Okay, uh, so we have here, okay, operasi tolak. Ah, okay, remember. Okay, jadi saya nak tanya awak. Let's see lah kalau saya ada, uh, okay, dimension of mass, okay, minus dimension of mass, okay. Ataupun saya ada dimension of mass plus dimension of mass, okay. Jadi untuk operasi tambah dan tolak, you nampak dekat sini, first kali you tahu, dimension of mass adalah capital M. Dimension of mass adalah capital M. Same goes to this one, right? Okay, dimension of mass, M and M. Alright, untuk operasi tambah dan tolak, bila kita tulis, kita tak boleh tulis M minus M. Untuk dimension, dia tak ada operasi tambah dan tolak and then you kata you selesaikan as zero. Salah. Okay, so apa yang betul adalah, okay, bila kita nampak sini, alright, So, the dimension of mass is M minus dimension of mass is M. Kedua-duanya dimension dia adalah sama. Jadi, dekat sini jawapan dia adalah M. Ha, dia tak ada M minus M. Same goes to this one. So, the dimension of M is capital M and this is also capital M. So, bila M minus M, M plus M. So, what is the dimension for that uh, operation? So, dia akan jadi M. Boleh? Okay. So, in this case, okay. So, since we know already that since dimension of P final minus dimension of P initial is equal to, kita tak boleh uh, tulis, okay. Dimension of uh, P final minus dimension of P initial, dia akan tetap samalah. Dia adalah dimension of P. Okay. So, apa dimension of P? Uh, P final minus P initial. So, kita nak tahu dimension of P. Remember, okay, dimension of pressure, formula dia adalah force over area. Okay. Jadi, dimension of pressure is equal to dimension of force over area. So, kalau kita tak ingat dimension of force, kita ingat formula dia force equal to MA. So, kita tulis satu-satu dekat sini. Okay. And then, finally, kita akan dapat... Uh, mass is M and then for acceleration, acceleration is equal to LT, right? LT negative 2. Remember eh, once you dah tukar ke dimension of mass, bracket yang uh, square bracket ni, you boleh tukar kepada this one. Okay, make sure you buang lah square bracket. Sebab square bracket tu saya ingatkan dalam video pertama dia adalah dimension of. Dia membawa maksud dimension of. Boleh eh? Okay. Jadi over A is the area di mana length times length. So kita akan jadi L squared. So yang L ni kita boleh cancel out. Therefore dimension for pressure is equal to ML negative T. Sorry ML negative 1 T negative 2. Okay, so kita boleh tulis kat sini lah. Okay, dimension of P 
final minus dimension of P initial dia sama iaitu ML negative 1 T negative 2. Ingat eh, kita tak boleh tulis dimension of uh, P final minus P initial equal to ML negative 1 T negative 2 minus ML negative 1 T neg uh, T negative 2 tak boleh. Okay. Jadi now okay we want to write dimension of gamma. Kita nak cari dimension of gamma. So dimension of gamma is equal to dimension of okay dimension of P final minus dimension of P initial, right? Okay. Ah uh, dia macam itu. Alright. And times dimension of R. So radius, right? Over dimension of 2. Remember dimension of constant? Dimension of 2 is equal to 1. Dimension of 1000 is equal to 2. Eh, sorry. It's equal to 1. Ha, okay. Apa-apalah. Saya dah cakap dalam video yang pertama. Okay. Jadi, saya akan tulis. Therefore, dimension of gamma is equal to. Okay. ML negative 1. T negative 2. Times R. R is L over 1. So, tak adalah 1. Okay. So, L over L negative 1. Kita boleh potong. And finally, the final answer is equal to dimension of gamma is equal to mt negative 2. Okay. So, jadi soalan ini soalan dimension tapi lebih mencabar sedikit lah. So, ini jawapan akhir dia. So, let's continue. Okay. So, the arc length formula says that as of arc substandard by angle theta in a circle. Okay. So, this is the equation. Alright. So, we want to find what is dimension of R. Okay. Remember, okay. First of all, okay. Dimension of theta. So, theta is constant, right? Dia adalah the radius, right? Sorry. Dia adalah angle. Sorry. Dia adalah angle. So, theta. Okay. Dimension dia is equal to 1. Remember. Okay. So, the length of S. Dimension length of S is equal to. Length adalah L lah, kan? Okay. So, now we want to determine the dimension of R. Where dimension of R is equal to dimension of S over dimension of theta. Okay. So, remember this bracket and this means dimension. Okay. Dimension of Y. Alright. So, now S is L over dimension of theta is 1. Therefore, dimension of R is equal to L. So, this is the final answer. Okay. Next, so what is the dimension of dv over dt? So, we want to determine what is dimension of dv over dt. Okay, so dimension of dv, d, dv adalah change of. Okay, dv adalah uh, change of. Change of volume. That means dv adalah dimension of dv. Actually, it is equal to d fi, uh, sorry, v final. Minus V initial. So, dimension of DV is actually equal to dimension of V final minus V initial. Sama macam saya ajar tadi. Ini adalah operasi tolak. Jadi, bila kita nak tentukan dimension. Alright. Dimension of V final minus dimension of V initial. Kedua-duanya adalah volume. Right. So, dimension of volume kita tahu L cube. This is also L cube. Therefore, untuk operasi tolak tadi. Dimension kita tak boleh tulis L cube minus L cube. Okay. Kita ambil saja dimension mereka sama. That's why dia adalah L cube. Okay. So, dimension of dv over dimension of dt. Sama juga. dt ni pun sama juga. The change of time. So, let's say we have t final. Dimension of t final minus dimension of t initial. Okay. So, time adalah capital T, right? So, dia adalah T. Dimension dia adalah T. Okay? So, we can substitute here. That dV over dT, kita tahu dV tadi the dimension, the change of volume. So, the dimension is L cube. And this one should be T. So, kita dapatlah jawapan akhir dia adalah L cube T negative 1. Okay? So, this is the answer. And then, uh, rho is the density. So, it's given that this is the dimension of the density. So, very easy, right? Okay, kalau you nak buat yang volume ni, kalau nak buat the change of, boleh je tulis balik. Sekejap eh. Boleh je kalau nak buat macam ni. Dimension of V final minus dimension of uh, V initial. Okay. Uh, so, dimension of T final 
minus dimension of T initial. So, this one should be L cube. Tak perlu L cube minus L cube pula. Okay, over T. So, kita akan dapat L cube T negative 1. So, this is the answer. Okay. And then, dimension of density times dimension of okay, dV over dt. Okay. So, dimension of density dia dah bagi dah dekat situ. ML negative 3 times dimension of dV over dt. Kita dah cari dah tadi. L3 negative 1. T negative 1. So, yang ini, look at here. Negative 3 dengan 3. That one we can cancel out, right? Okay. So, final answer dimension is equal to MT negative 1. Okay. So, finish question number 3. Alright, next. Question number 4. Okay. So, now we want to consider the equation Y equal to MT plus B. Okay. So, tengok dekat sini. Y equal to MT plus B is given that Y is a length. T is a time, M and B are constant. Okay, remember. Soalan dia dah bagi hint dekat situ di mana uh, Y tu adalah length and MT plus B. Okay, remember saya dah kata tadi kalau dimension of Y, dekat here, dimension of Y is length, right? So, L. Jadi, kalau kita ada dimension of MT, okay, plus dimension of B, Dia mesti samalah dengan dimension of Y. Okay. Jadi, kalau kita dah tahu dimension of Y dekat sini adalah L, automatically, dimension of B here should be L. Okay. And then, dimension of MT, dimension of M times dimension of T, also L. Ingat tak tadi kita belajar? Dia tak boleh L plus L. That's why, because of dimension both dimensions are the same. So, we have the okay, dimension of L here. Dimension of MT is L plus dimension of B also L. Sebab apa macam mana saya tahu? Sebab dia adalah operasi. Dia adalah operasi tambah. Sebab saya tahu dimension of Y ini adalah L. Therefore, saya tahulah dimension of MT. Okay. Sekejap eh. Okay, so since the dimension of Y is equal to L, so dimension of M times dimension of T also equal to L. So if you want to determine the dimension of M, so that can jadi L over dimension of T. So that can jadi L over T adalah capital T. Therefore, the final answer for dimension M adalah LT negative 1. So, this is the final answer. Okay. Dimension of M. Okay. Jadi, untuk yang B, B tak perlu buat pun tak apa. Kita boleh tulis since dimension of Y is equal to L. Therefore, we know already that dimension of B must be equal to L. Okay. Question number 5. Find the dimension of permittivity of free space. This one is for the epsilon naught. From equation below. Okay. So, look at here. We have this equation. So, we need to rearrange first. Okay. Sampai kita dapat epsilon naught is equal to what? Alright. So, now I want to rearrange right. So, epsilon naught is equal to. Okay. So, we bring the force downward. Okay. Kita pergi kat bahagian uh, belah kiri lah. Ke bawah bahagian kiri. Eh, sorry. Bahagian kanan. Epsilon naught naik atas. Okay. So, dia akan dapat. Okay, yang constant adalah 1 over 4 pi. Okay. So, saya akan buat Q1, Q2 over R squared times F. Okay. So, remember Q. Q is a charge. Okay. Remember that dimension of Q. Formula Q adalah Q equal to current darab dengan time. Alright, so I, T. And then remember, uh, dimension for current is equal to capital A and dimension of time is equal to capital T. Okay, uh, so kita dah tahu dah dimension untuk F. Ingat pula dimension untuk force. Kalau lupa, tulis balik formula dia. Dimension of mass times dimension of acceleration. Okay, so dia akan jadi mass adalah M, L, T, negative 2. Ada sinilah, dekat tepi. Mass, okay. 
dimension of mass is capital M, dimension of acceleration is LT negative 2. Kalau kita dah kerap buat, kita dah boleh hafal dah dimension of force is MLT negative 2. Okay? And then dimension for R is equal to L lah, capital L length. And then dimension of 1 over 4 pi, remember this is constant. So, mesti equal to 1. So, bila kita nak jawab soalan ni, cara tulis kita adalah dimension of epsilon naught. Yang kita nak cari ini samaan dengan dimension of 1 over 4 pi times dimension of Q1. Alright, Q1 times dimension of Q2. Ingat eh, tadi saya terangkan ke awak, kalau kita ada contoh dimension of Q1 minus dimension of Q2. Dia tak sama dengan dimension of Q1 times dimension of Q2. Okay. Ataupun dimension of Q1 uh, plus dimension of Q2. Same so dimension of Q1 divide dimension of Q2. Okay. Jadi kalau untuk operasi uh, darab dan bahagi, you boleh selesaikan. Tapi kalau untuk tambah dan tolak, kalau dimension dia adalah AT dan dimension ini pun AT, it is equal to AT. Sorry. This is equal to AT. This same goes to this one. But for this one, dia akan jadi AT times AT. So, dia akan jadi A squared T squared. Remember. Okay. And Q1 and Q2 dia akan jadi AT over AT. Yang ni kita boleh selesaikan. So, dia akan dapat 1. Ingat eh. Only for uh, subtraction and also addition. Okay. This one, you tak boleh selesaikan. You cannot solve the dimension. Boleh ke? Okay. So, jadi sekarang kita tulis dimension of 1 over 4 pi is equal to 1. Right. And then, oh, ni saya tertinggal tadi. Sekejap. Saya nak tulis ni. Tak siap lagi. Over dimension of R. Okay. Squared saya letak luar. Times dimension of force. Therefore, 1 times 80 times 80 over. R tadi adalah L kan? Tapi sebab ada squared, sudah so akan jadi L squared. Ha, ini jangan tertinggal pula L squared. Okay. And the force, dimension of force is MLT negative 2. Ha, ingat eh. MLT negative 2, dia duduk kat bawah ni. MLT negative 2. Ini tolong, tolong jangan careless kat sini. Ini adalah negative 2. Jadi, bila you nak rearrange, ni tak muat ni, saya tulis kat sini. Therefore, dimension of epsilon naught is equal to A squared T squared, okay, over, okay, L cube, okay, yang boleh, yang ini kita boleh, L ni kita boleh darabkan lah. L cube M T negative 2. Ah, T negative 2. Tapi T negative 2 tu, remember, dia duduk dekat bawah. So, dia bahagi T negative 2. So, dia akan jadi T squared. Dia akan, bila dia naik atas, dia akan jadi T squared. So, dia akan jadi A squared. The final answer should be A squared. Ataupun kita pilih lah M. M yang duduk bawah ni ni kan. M negative Nak tulis A squared pun boleh. A squared T power of 4. Why T power of 4? Because this is T squared divide T negative 2. T squared divide T power of negative 2. Ini, you kena ingat betul-betul dia akan jadi T power of 4. You jangan cancel sesuka hati. Alright? Okay, boleh? Okay, A squared T power of 4. L negative 3. M negative 1. So, this is the answer. We cannot solve lagi dah. Dah tak boleh cancel. Tak ada apa lagi yang boleh cancel out. Okay? So, this is the final answer for question number 5. Okay, we finish part 2 for subtopic 1.1. So, for the next video, kita akan continue dengan subtopic 1.1c. Tadi 1.b, okay, kita akan pergi pada 1.1c. Kita nak verify the homogeneity of equations using dimensional analysis. Okay, jadi siapa yang belum tengok lagi video short notes animation untuk dimension, you boleh pergi kepada folder chapter 1. You boleh cari dekat situ short notes untuk soalan, sorry, untuk subtopic dimension. Okay, jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye. Thank you.